Please, gentlemen, sit down. Well, as you'll no doubt be aware, you have been selected for a mission of the utmost importance. However, I must add that the utmost secrecy is crucial this time. <clears throat> as I was saying, this agency has been alerted to an unusual incendiary and or electrical phenomena occurring on a specific island in the Pacific Ocean. Your task, should you choose to accept it, is to investigate these phenomena and return with any valuables you may find. Just how valuable do you mean, Commodore? Well, if our suspicions are correct, there may be deposits of the most powerful energy source known to mankind, located in a cave system underneath the island. You mean... Energy crystals, precisely. A substance long the territory of myth. But we have reason to believe that they are real, and the Institute requires as many samples for evaluation as possible. Make no mistake, gentlemen. These crystals could reform the energy industry. They could fuel a second industrial revolution. You will, of course, be rewarded handsomely for any you manage to obtain. Are there any more supplies or services you require for your journey? If there's gonna be caves, we're gonna need a spelunker. Not to worry, Mr. Gleaves. We have already arranged for one Mr. Dowding to join your party. You will leave one week from today, on the 27th of March. Any more questions? No? Well, gentlemen, I bid you farewell for now. Ah, I'm glad you've arrived safely. Splendid. Right this way. As you can see, we've prepared a zeppelin for your use. Unfortunately, the previous owners were unable to complete the task that you are about to go on. However, I have complete confidence in your abilities. A pleasure to make your acquaintance, good sirs. Likewise. But why do we need an airship? Just where is this island located? The island, Mr. Burkham, is located on the oceanic pole of inaccessibility, the farthest point from any other landmass on Earth. But wouldn't that be land by, by definition? <clears throat> now is not the time to cavil at semantics. Thank you. Seems a transport has been fully loaded. So it has. Nice working with you, Commodore. Indeed. Godspeed, gentlemen. There's something a bit strange about this mission. Yeah, I hear you. Like you said about the oceanic pole of inaccessibility. What? Oh, n never mind that, it's just... Well, the whole thing seems pretty convenient. How did they have the Zeppelin to give us if the previous owners didn't make it back? Sirs, we're almost at the coordinates. Oh, yes, yes, of course, I, uh... uh... Hold on, I don't see it. That's because it's not at the coordinates in the usual sense. Remarkable! Yeah, it's something, all right. But why all the secrecy? I mean, it would have been a lot easier if we'd been at the right angle to, you know, See it! Don't ask me. Commodore Asquith didn't even tell me. I just noticed it right then. There's a cave just north of here.
Is there something alive in here? That was a close shave. What is that thing, a gorilla? Oh, this is no gorilla. It feels like... like a rock. Have you heard of these things? Uh, no. Asquith never mentioned them. Then that's all of us in the dark. Figuratively speaking. Mr. Dowding, did the mission brief say anything about any sort of civilization on this island? No. No, it did not. I'm beginning to wonder why we even brought you along in the first place. Greetings. Uh, do you... do you speak English? Sure, I speak it just fine. Who's there? Ah, oh, uh, good day, sir. Uh, we are members of an expedition to this island, and we're wondering if we could gain entrance to this portion of the caves. Heh. <laughs> Asquith sent you, didn't he? Yes, how did you... Come on in. I'll explain on the way. Thank you, Mr... Shans. William Shands. You see, about five years ago, Commodore Asquith sent us to... You guessed it. Come onto this island and retrieve the energy crystals. Have you encountered the rock creatures that live in these caves? Oh, yes. Then you know that they are not as savage as they appear. When we reached the Crystal Chamber, the rock creatures captured us and brought us back to their subterranean homes. There we found that they are intelligent, if primitive. They need these crystals to survive, and we have no right to take them. My partner, Smitty, agreed to take our airship back and inform the government that the island is already inhabited, and that we cannot extract the crystals in good conscience. That's all I need to hear. <gasps> Sorry, Shans. Asquith warned me about you. Just what do you intend to do with that firearm? I'll have you know that these creatures are in Not present. Now you're either going to help me get these crystals out of here, or have your whereabouts permanently confirmed as underground. Doubting? What's the meaning of this? Sorry, Captain, but if you'd known, you probably wouldn't have come. So it all boils down to this, Mr. Burkham. It's either these crystals, or those monsters. Time to choose. Huh! You're wasting your time, Doubting. If these two were the men of reason they claim to be, you'd never be able to pull off a stunt like that. You don't get it, do you? What? We're here for the crystals, you understand? It's people like you that get in the way of progress. You heard them. Let's go. Well, gentlemen, with a glance at the cargo bay, I can deduce that the mission was a complete success. Would I be right? And how, sir? Uh, we did, however, find one William Shans on the island. Ah, yes. Sorry about that. I should have mentioned it sooner. I trust he wasn't too much of a nuisance. Not in the slightest, sir. Not in the slightest. Excellent. I have further work for you if you're interested. Is it profitable? Highly. Count us in, sir.